So we have a rice uh, already pre-made already. Um, and then to make it better, um, we're gonna have um, the pork with uh, chile, with chile. So Hey, my future saints, I'm Ellie, and welcome back to One World Saints, where we learn about our faith while discovering new flavors. Um, I'm glad to be back at this again. Um, I know I did a few of them just a while ago, but I feel like it's been so long doing these videos. Um, but hopefully we're gonna be doing them a little more constantly, being able to you know, bring out the faith to you guys while cooking. So, I mean, this is for anyone that's watching. This can be for someone who's older. This is, can be for, uh, for you, youth. Uh, this can help you guys, you know, to, to learn to cook the basics. At least I think it's the basics. Um, so, with that being said, there's new ideas that, like I told you guys, new ideas that I want to make. New, new, um, diff try different things. So, if you guys have any suggestions, any questions, any comments, anything in general, I mean, you guys can comment that in the comment box obviously um you guys don't forget to you know continue liking these videos if you like them or if you just like them it's fine but just you know it would be helpful if you like them um but you know if you have anything anything that you want me to try out any recipe anything you saw online anything that um you know is just floating out in the social media you want me to try it out you know you comment and i and i will try to recreate that as well um if you want me to do something different you you don't like the way that i'm doing things you want you have a different idea let me know as well you know we can try different things see what works out see what can help you guys um get the message across through food and our faith um but with that being said um because we're going to be switching things up a bit we in these current ones that are gonna these videos that are gonna be continuing these videos that are gonna be from here on uh we're gonna get to know a little bit about uh uh the core team the core team is the ones who are um in charge or like the the front the front line the front line people of uh our youth ministry here at saint helen so we're gonna get to know them a little bit um in these upcoming videos uh so with that being said we're gonna start off with the one and only the coordinator of our youth ministry that is moses de la torre Woo! <laughs> Sorry, what's up, what's up, guys? All right, with that being said he's gonna be putting on our apron yeah your monito and this is uh, just to let you guys know this is going to be a little bilingual because some words are easier they come easier to my mind in spanish and same here yeah i don't speak it <laughs> so i mean it's okay we all learn a little bit plus that is one of my things that i'm trying to help you guys quiero, aprend quiero aprender no mejor di quiero incorporar uh -huh. más español en los videos i mean yo sé español pero es un poquito difícil a la misma vez a veces because viene más rápido el inglés Pero voy a tratar con el mucho esfuerzo de hablar más español. ¿Se me, se me va bien o no? ¿Se, se me quedó bien? Bien bonito. Mira. ¡A más soy famoso! What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? ¿Cómo estás, Eli? Gracias, bien, gracias bien. por invitarme. Thank you for, for giving me the opportunity to be with you. And uh, before we start, you know, I just want to say that I'm very proud of you for everything that you're doing. Thank you. You're doing thank a you. change. And, uh, and gracias por eso, okay? Se te quiere mucho. All right. <laughs> gracias, so, gracias. ¿Qué pasó? All right. All right, so lo que vamos a cocinar hoy is something that Moy actually think, well, he doesn't think, he knows. This is something he really, really loves. And when I brought the 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 idea out, he was like, oh, you have to make this. <laughs> if you've seen any of my other previous videos, uh, we have done this again. Uh, we have done it, I'm sorry, but because Moses loves us so much, I we're gonna it. redo it again. This. Um, so, Mori, Mori, what are we making today? We're making morisqueta estilo Michoacán. Así es que para todos, my people over there from Michoacán, this is the best morisqueta. <laughs> okay, so pay attention. Um, and for all, for those of you guys who are from Michoacán, I know there is different variations of morisqueta. This is the one I personally love. Uh, Moi really likes this it. one also. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're gonna get straight into it. But this is what I use to make uh, my morisqueta. There's different variations, like I said, and you can modify any of these things, uh, but this is what I use. So I got trocitos de puerco. Honestly, I have no idea what type of cut it is, but mi mamá me dijo, ve a agarrar trocitos de puerco, y yo fui a agarrar trocitos de puerco. 
so that's what I used. Um, I cheated a bit and I got uh, canned beans. Um, pero si tu ma tiene frijoles de la olla allí, that works too. If you want to ask her, ma, me puedes hacer unos frijoles de la olla? That works as well. Anything that makes your life easier. And this is makes my life way easier. So if you haven't don't have yourself a rice cooker, first of all, you should purchase a rice cooker because a rice cooker saves so many lives. So we have a rice uh, already pre-made already um, because it does take a while to make, but we got that done. And then to make it better, um, we're gonna have um, the pork with uh, chile, with chile, so in chile. So I have some chiles here with tomatillo and tomate. It all is your preference, how much spicy you want. If you want it more spicy, add more chile to it. Um, I think this one's gonna come out like medium, medium, so hopefully it'll be fine. Besides that, then you have your seasoning. I, uh, salt, pepper is a must. Um, and then I have garlic powder and uh, onion powder for the meat. And those are the ingredients that you need. Things that you should, that are pretty essential in a Mexican household um, that can help you to create your own morisqueta. Before we get into the cooking part and before we, you know, chopping and making everything look good at the end, uh, um, I want our guest, Moises, to just give us a little intro of who he is, you know, accomplishments, things that he likes uh, to do, um, I don't know, anything that he wishes to share with us. Social security would be great, debit card numbers would be awesome because who doesn't like those? It's just in zero, right? Up on zero. <laughs> well, again, Ellie, thank you. Thank you for, for the invitation. For me, it's my pleasure again. Um, thank you. Thank you and congratulations for everything that you're thank doing. You, thank you. Uh, my name is Moises, como ya lo dijo Eli. Uh, I'm the coordinator of uh, Duke and Altum, the youth group in St. Helen, Southgate Youth Church. So any teenagers right there from 12 to 17. Stay commercial. Yeah, this is a commercial. From 12 <laughs> to 17, and you want to be part of the youth group? Well, guess what? In St. Helen and Southgate, there's a group for you. So we're going to leave the information down below. All right. So going back to this, uh, my name is Moises. I'm 30 years old. Tengo 30 años. I know I look like 15, but I'm 30. Okay. Uh, I'm happily married. Estoy felizmente casado with my beautiful wife uh, that you guys are gonna see in another video. All right. We have uh, we have a baby. Tiene un año y medio. She's a year and a half. Um, her name is Marley. Uh, tremenda. And I, I'm super happy yes. and I'm blessed. Actually, my mom and my dad, they're from Michoacán. Um, mm -hmm. They were born in Michoacán, but I was born and raised in Mexico City. Chilango's right there. So how did they say, right. watch your... Watch your wallet. Watch your wallet. Not anymore, I know about Jesus now. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, every vacations, we used to go to Michoacán with my grandma. Mm -hmm. So, ella sea morisqueta, pero esta morisqueta, this is a really good morisqueta, así es que um, I'm super happy. Este, ¿y qué empiezo? ¿Qué hacemos? Ok, pero, I mean, podemos empezar, pero sí sabes. Mira, I know how to do coffee, cereal, and sandwiches. No, y también maruchan. Uh, I do a really good maruchan. This maruchan is mar maruchan mo chile piquín, chido, 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 dot com. That's the name of my maruchan. So, uh, it's, uh, but that, no, I'm actually really good at, at, at cooking. I help my wife. But I have to be uh, inspired. Ah, I don't know if you okay. get me, right? It's not like I open the fridge and it's like, oh, let me do it. No, no, I can't do ah. that, you know? <laughs> uh, I have to think in the morning and the Lord has to inspire me and be like, Moses, I want you to make pechugas empanizadas. And there you go, you know? But uh, my wife is the one who cook at home. All right, that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty interesting. For me, I think it's on the contrary. I, I try, well, in, in the aspect of uh, cooking, um, I'm, I like to make something out of whatever I have. So I, I go, my favorite app is uh, Tasty and mm -hmm. non-sponsored. Um, I love Tasty, uh, but what I do is I put the ingredients that I have and I just see if they so have- you make your own. Yeah, so yeah. I like it. I, you know, right. I try to use with what I have. So, but that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes I do like- I mean, Ellie makes inspired. a really good dessert. They make a really oh, good flan. I love okay. desserts. <laughs> that's my number one. But let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. So, um, I pre made the. Question Do we have insurance for this? No, we have no insurance, sir, but. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ya empezamos mal. So, I have, a, you know, like I told you guys, I cheated a little bit on the beans. But Boles. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Todos lo van a comer. It's still all going to go to the same place. 
Um, but at the same time, el chile ya está hecho. Lo, all you did was coserlo. Um, ya sé que tiene. Tiene um, red tomato, green mm -hmm. tomato, mm -hmm. y un chilote. <laughs> Uno. Uno, pero maybe if it's a little not that spicy, we can add a little more. Right. Um, also, mi ma, si mi ma está viendo esto, mi ma se enojaría, dice que está mejor la salsa si lo pones a dorar. So, si ustedes quieren dorar el tomate, tomatillo, chile, you guys are more than welcome to. It gives it a little more rustic taste because of mm -hmm. like the little burnt, but I think it tastes good regardless. Um, and so, Moy, if you can help me, we're going to be putting uh, some, some, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Seasoning on the salsa, so some, um, ¿Al gusto? Pero, si sabes o no sabes, pues. A ver, espérate, ¿cómo se hace esto? Me quita la tapadera, la oh, voltea, es puro fancy I aquí. I always wanted to do this. <laughs> Del otro lado, para, para allá, para allá, para oh, el otro. ¿Para allá? Para el otro lado, así, así, para el otro. Mira, <laughs> ¿cómo que si sí sabe cocinar? Eh, lo que te... Eh, yeah. ¿Cuánto? ¿That's it? Sí, está suficiente. That's okay. black pepper for you guys. Oh, okay. Eh, this is fancy. Pues puro fancy aquí. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have some salt also. Same thing? Same thing, sir. Okay. Ay, ay, da, ay, da. Just get in the hang of it slowly. Ay. Ay, es al gusto. Sí. Okay, you that's know. it, okay. Ay, está Luego el azúcar se nos, se nos sube o algo así, ¿no? This is garlic powder. We're going to add some garlic powder okay. as well. See, sí. más o menos poquito. Um, ahí está suficiente. Okay. Um, this one can be, you don't need to put the garlic powder if you don't want to. It does have garlic cloves at the bottom, but I, uh, I like it. I like garlic. I love it. I mean, put, like, you guys can do the, the, the whole garlic. Thing, yeah, I am going to add some garlic powder. Okay. And then some onion powder. We're going to add some onion powder as well. This one. Onion powder. Okay. Right. No, no different. Right. Um, for onion powder, I put onion powder. If you have a piece of onion there, cut it up. You can put it in there as well. Y nomás se va a agregar poquita um, de agua. ¿Poquita o todas? Poquita nomás. Ahí te digo, un poquito más. Un poquito más, ahí está. So, meanwhile, Mo is going to go right now. He's going to blend it up and he's going to have the salsa for us after. Okay, so, we're waiting for Moses to finish up with the sauce, which should be coming up really soon. Ahí está. Um, this also depends. The color I know looks a little different um, than maybe the previous one I made, but it all depends. Si la quieres más roja, ponle más tomate, más chile. Um, de al, gu árbol, al gusto, ¿no? Al árbol, de mm -hmm. árbol, de I think. Mm -hmm. De árbol. Um, but yeah, todos al gusto. Moy was uh, trying it right now um, before, and he's like, ¿Está picoso? I don't think so, but. Ketchup is a spicy for me. Okay. <laughs> 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 but like I said, it's up to everyone's preference. Um, my preference, but the other más chile está bien. Um, but we have the chile done, we have the frijoles, frijoles done, we have the the rice on the side that's being uh, still kept warm. And, and with the rice, it's any type of white rice. Yeah, I, any I, type I, of uh, white rice. I think the one that I use the jasmine one, but I think mm. any rice, white rice is fine. Um, you, the way that I know how to make rice is, uh, so let's say one cup of rice and it'll be two cups of water. So the mm. a one to two ratio. So if you put a large cup of like this huge pot of uh, rice, then you have two of these same size for water. Y ya le pones sal al gusto. That's the way I know it. I think online when I switched it up, it was a little different, but okay. I think it, it works just uh, works fine. Um, Ready. So it's, ever, it's up to your preference. Okay. Um, so then the only thing we would have been missing is uh, the meat. Uh, so. We're gonna, I'm gonna dice it up, um, and then we're gonna put it in our pot and then put it on the stove. And then uh, that's where we'll add the rest of our seasoning as well. You know, the onion powder, um, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there on, we'll continue. So, ahorita la carne, the cooking is, like, the meat is. It's cooking, cooking yes. All right. <laughs> que sigue? Um, well, que sigue? No. Nah. Esperamos que la, la, la carne termine de cocinar. Um, you're going to see me maybe moving out of the screen. The reason why I'm doing that is obviously taking care of it. We can't just leave it there. It's going to get burnt. And hopefully that's you guys too. If you guys are cooking, put the phone down. Put, uh, take your eyes off of the TV and check on the meat. Lego se te va a quemar. Yes. Because no. let me tell you one story one time. <laughs> con los frijoles. I was busy on my phone y se me quemaron. Like, se quemó. 
y eran los únicos frijoles que había, ya no había, se teníamos que ir a cocer el próximo día y ya no había y, y mi mamá quería frijoles um, fritos y se me quemaron, Era, oh my god, estaba la casa, huelía frijoles, bien feo. So, It happens to me one time that I put water, no sé para qué puse agua, right? And I forgot, so when I, when I went back, there was no water, and I'm like, ¿sí le puse agua? And then I was like, no, ¿sí? So yeah, so para que vean que tan buenos son para cocinar. Okay, and if you guys have any of these stories like this, that would be awesome Please if you guys uh, comment them down, um, comment them down, and you know, just let us know of all, you know, your your fails. It's okay, we all have It's them. Okay. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, while the meat is cooking, you know, um, let's get into it a little more serious topic here, a oh. little more. Oh no. Oh no oh, no 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 no. <laughs> so. Um, Uh, you, you've been how long in the faith? In the faith? Well, I want to say maybe like 15, 15, 15, 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. I mean, my, my whole Camino de Dios, it started when I was 13, 14 years old. Uh, I mean, ya te conté uh -huh. mi historia, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, claro. Pero that's the time that I, I came here to the United States uh, with my parents looking for a better opportunities. And, uh, Of course, like, as, a, as a regular teenager, you know, you can stand viendo ahí, you're watching right now, uh, you're like, uh, no, I have another priority. God is not my priority. Same. And that was me. That was me in that time, you know. Um, I, was, I was playing soccer. I was trying to learn a new, a new culture, a new language, adapting to new, new, new school. So, uh, God, Dios no era mi, mi, my priority. But I remember my, my stepdad, um, he actually, the first week I came here to the United States, mm -hmm. he actually invited us to go to the church. It was um, this group of oración in Maywood, 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 California. So, uh, Santa Rosa de Lima, <laughs> aquí está también. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I, I didn't have a choice. No, I said, you know, you're, you, whatever your mom said, that's what you do. Definitely. Do berrinche, don't do berrinche, you're gonna go. You get me? And of course, I, w I went, I didn't like it at the beginning. Uh, I was with my carota right there, you know, and my mom pinching me. Applaud, <laughs> mijo, I tell you, I don't care, man. So uh, that was almost for, like, I want to say, more, for a few months, for a few months, and uh, and later on, you know, like you kind of, you kind of, you kind of get to to your mind, like, okay, I'm there, you know, ya estoy ahí. That's true. I want people to see me like this. No, so might as well, you know, the music was great, and I think that's what actually got my attention as a teenager. You know, the music was really good. Mm -hmm. And then I started talking with the people in the choir, and uh, and they were they were friendly, and and that's how you know I give it a chance, and uh, and then we started these classes on, on Wednesday. I remember every mm -hmm. Wednesday we had crecimientos, these Bible studies, right? And uh, I was with the adolescentes, with the teenagers, uh -huh. and um, and it was I mean no English todavía ya no medio edad, pero in that time is no English, uh, no friends, and. Uh, I gotta say thank you to, to my madrina, Madrina Gloria. Um, uh, she was very patient with me, you know, she was very patient with me and she gave me the opportunity. And I think that's something, Ellie, that, that now in these times, that's what we're working on, you know, like mm -hmm. teenagers, they just want an opportunity. Definitely. And I got that opportunity to be like, okay, you know, like it's okay, you don't speak English, you don't know the language, let me help you. And um, I decided to say yes, yes to the Lord. So since that time, you know, since, since I was 14 years mm -hmm. old, Empecé uh, el Camino de Dios, uh, we started doing retreats, uh, doing, we, doing a lot of stuff, serving in mass. So it was great, it mm -hmm. was great. Um, I met my wife in the teenage retreat. So I was doing, dating with my wife for 10 years, you know? Wow. And then we got married three years ago, and now we have a baby, so it's a blessing. I mean, everything, everything has been a blessing. Right, so that's a little bit how my... All right. That, My I mean, story. That, that's great. And, that, and that, I think that's wonderful to know that from a, such a young mm -hmm. age, and I think that relates with many of us, how sometimes we are forced into this faith um, and we, we don't want to go. We're making our faces. Mm -hmm. We're like, no, I don't want to go. I don't even like God. And who knows what we have mm -hmm. said. Um, but and sometimes we do just have to take that chance. It's like, I'm here, you might as well make chance, the best yeah. out of it. Exactly. Um, and, and I think that's wonderful. And, and I mean, you started that way too, you know? You came to the group when you were like... I was around maybe 14, you, you 15. Freshman, no? Yeah, I was a freshman mm -hmm, in high school. Um, and now I'm 20, 21, close to 22. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, of course, that, that was me as well too. You know, I didn't want to really come, but I was kind of in a low place that I have for that many friends. Mm -hmm. And I was like, these people are right here. They're 
following the following God, they're my age, why not give it a try? Mm -hmm. So, and I think that's wonderful, you know, uh, that you gave it a try and eh, es lo que también queremos que, que tú puedas, si tú estás en la situación de que a lo mejor um, ya estás aquí en el grupo y you want to give up, you don't want to be here, mm -hmm. but you're here, mm -hmm. make the best out of it. Yeah. Um, and if we can help you in any way, if these videos mm -hmm. can help you anyway, that's what we are aiming for. Um, and I have a question for you. Sure. Um, many, many, many that may be watching or many, many, many times before you were, you were like, okay, I'm Catholic. My parents are Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in a, as a Catholic. Voy a misa. Que parezco um, señor, mira, acomodando todo. Like, <laughs> have you seen those people? Like, <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, that we come to a point mm -hmm. que we come to a point. Okay. <laughs> you got to the point. <laughs> I get to the point. <laughs> um, that we say we're Catholic, but what does it mean to you to actually be Catholic? And that's what I want you guys, I want you to tell, let them know. Like, what do you, um, que significa ser um, verdaderamente católico? Like, puedo yo decir, si, sí, soy católica, pero que tu piensas o que debe de ser, um, what do you think it should be? to be Catholic, you know? Um, so, you know, maybe give them a little insight or like, mm -hmm. what do you think? I mean, um, uh, yeah. I mean when, I, when I was in Mexico, I didn't know anything about my religion. I remember uh, in Mexico, uh, the people who maybe know about this, in Mexico was these things uh, called Rosarios, you know? And, and, and people would tell you like, oh, there's a Rosario in, in, in this place. So me, I remember with my friends, we used to go, why? because you will get free champurrado and free tamales. And I think that was the only time, the only time actually I was praying our father. Um, and that was the only religion I, I knew, right? The only prayers. So actually I started knowing about my religion when I actually came here to the United States. And, and uh, you, you hear a lot of things about being Catholic, you know? But I think Catholic, it's, 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 it's more than than just a church, it's, it's a family, it's, it's a community. And, and being, a, being a Catholic as a, as a young age, you gotta defend that. You know, tienes que, tienes que defender tu fe, tienes que defender tu religión, your beliefs. You really have to, okay, this is what I'm following, and try to do things right, you know, y saber de que Dios te ama, saber de que, de que, de que Dios está contigo. And I remember the first time, actually, I went, I went to Mass here in the United States. And I used to go to mass before, right? But I, but I remember that time it was different. When I, before I remember, before I went inside of the church, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna pay attention. Okay. I went by myself without my parents to other church that they don't know me, mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna enjoy it, and it's beautiful. So I, I, I mean, to you that you're watching right now, give that opportunity. Like, go, go to mass. You know, si tienes la oportunidad de, de recibir la, la, la Eucaristía, recibela. Like, piénsalo, saborealo. You know, it's there, it's for us. Mm -hmm. And we just gotta go and get it. Of course. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be hard. Definitely it's gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. Pero con Dios todo es posible. And, mm -hmm. and I think we gotta know that God is in control of everything. Si es que, uh, we got this. All right, yeah. And I think that that's wonderful that you, that we have to sometimes say that yes. Mm -hmm. Like we're scared, um, we, we don't know what we are doing, but you know, dejar todo a, a, mm -hmm. atrás y no más ir y estar presente. And I think that's what, what, what's really interesting and really what helps, what can help a person who's maybe mm -hmm. uh, not sure what they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but what about if you're going through a situation that's that's like very difficult? Ahorita, um, with all this whole with the pandemic, yeah. we know we are losing many people, a and maybe people. not just because of the of, of the virus, but we're losing people in general, mm -hmm. um, and it's something that's so common. Um, so my my question to you is, how can maybe you have went through a, a difficult situation, mm -hmm. but how can how has the faith helped you, or maybe look at things differently? Then maybe someone. So, so like, a lo mejor yo no soy de la fe. Um, so, a lo mejor yo estoy pasando por otras cosas muy diferentes. Pero tú que conoces la fe, um, ¿cómo tú has podido sobrepasar todas estas dificultades que, que, que están pasando ahorita y que han estado pasando? I mean, uh, following God's path, I mean, uh, it's going to be difficult. 
-hmm. you know, si fuera fácil, bo, todos, todos estuviéramos mm -hmm. ahí, right? It's a beautiful journey. It's a heart, yes. Definitely. But this is the big difference when you know about Jesus, when you are in the Camino. You get the tools. You know, uh, agarra las herramientas para poder vencer esos problemas. So if there is any problem, any obstacle in the road, well, you have the tools, you know, pray, do this, do that, go to confession, do this, and keep going. You get me? And yes, in this 14, 15 years that, that I've been following God, I mean, of course, I've been having a lot of situations, but I think something that I, that I always share with the kids, mm -hmm. well, I call them kids, but yeah, and I, but I always share with the, with the teens is that when you, I mean, when we get to heaven, that, mm -hmm. that was the whole point, right? Like, to go go to heaven, God is not going to ask you like, oh, uh, let me see more. He says, oh, man, you have 600,000 millions uh, of sins. He's not going to ask you that. You know, I think God is going to ask you like how many times you got up and keep going in those times. Mm -hmm. So uh, for you right there that maybe you're going through situations right now and you're like trying to give up. Well, don't. Don't give up. Look at me. <laughs> don't give up. Okay. Um, I don't remember who said this, but... I remember one teenager came with me and it's like, Moses, I'm, uh, I have doubted, uh, I'm doubting. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, good. Yeah. It's good. And, and, and I remember the kid's face like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's okay to doubt. So for you that you're watching right now and you're doubting about everything that has happened, you're doubting about your faith, well, it's okay. It's okay to doubt because that's going to make you look for answers. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So if you're doubting, good. It's not good just to be doubting and stay with that, with that question with you. I mean, look for answers. Go talk to a priest. Go to the youth group. If you have a youth, uh, a youth minister, go with him. Uh, read books. Like, that's your answer. You're going find to the, find the truth. Amen? Amen. And uh, I remember, uh, I, I think you asked me this mm -hmm. question before. The, en, en creer a Dios. But there is two things. There is creer en Dios y creerle a Dios. And those are two big, two, two big differences, you mm -hmm. know, like a lot, of, a lot of us can be like, oh, I believe in God. Of course. Okay. Do, you, do we really? Mm -hmm. You know, cuando vienen esos momentos difíciles, do we really believe in God in those times? So, tenemos que creerle a Dios. And when that happens, it's like, doesn't matter what's going on, you, trust, you believe in God. Mm -hmm. You know, to crescent that everything that it's happening is happening for a reason. And you got to know one thing for sure. And you got to believe this. The God is in control, no matter what's, what's going on in your, in, in your situation right now. You know, um, God is in control. Pon todo en sus manos. De antemano cuenten con nuestras oraciones. Y, 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 y de nuevo, don't quit. Don't give up. Ask questions. Here's the group. Mm -hmm. uh, go talk to your priest. Uh, I mean, send us a, a, a question below. Send us your information. We can talk to you. Uh, we can pray for you, definitely. But... The most important is that you're not alone on this, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, thank you. All right, yeah, I think definitely you're not alone in, and I don't think you'll ever be alone. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I think what I really would like, uh, what better say, what really stuck to me uh, with what you said is, it's okay to be in doubt, but let's not stay in the doubt. Exactly. You know, I, if many times in just anything in general, um, if we're not sure about it, we find out information, mm -hmm. right? So why don't we do the same thing with, with the faith? If you aren't sure if um, red is red and blue is blue, um, then figure it out. Don't stay with that doubt. Amen. Amen. All righty. Welcome, welcome back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many welcome back. Tell us welcome back. Um, so in the big world, obviously you guys weren't seeing this part, um, but we finished cooking the meat. Um, you'll know when it's ready. I mean, if you go back to my other video, I do explain to you when the meat is basically finished. Um, after all the the jugo, it's already gone. It's already está dorando. Uh, si no si no tiene tanto um, fat your carne, then you can add a little bit of oil. This one has sufficient, so no se tenía que agregar más aceite. Um, le agregas el chile, and then you can taste it again. Si piensas que le falta poquito de sal, ponle sal. Um, I personally like to put consomme. Um, but it depends on, on you if you want to add it or not. So we have our chile ready here, uh, nice. our beans, our rice, everything's ready, and we are ready to plate. So nice. Moe, if you want to put a little, oh, it's not hot, it shouldn't be hot. So rice, al gusto, no? Al gusto. Toda la olla si te quieres llevártela. You know, I remember uh, I used to uh, uh, live in a Patsingan for a few, a, few, mm -hmm. a few months, 
and and every corner they have this uh, like like places to go by meat, right? Okay. But every place is in every corner, like corner corner, they have a place, and they have more. They have the same thing, morisqueta con tacos, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember I used to go with this lady that she would make like a volcano of, a, of, 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 a, of a rice. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, pero if you wanna be creative and. Oh, hi, hi, señor. I think that's good. She definitely gets it. <laughs> All right, um, you wanna continue adding our. So we'll put the, the beans next? Uh, yeah. Okay. The beans also, you can have, I like them fried. I like them refried beans, but um, these are, well, these are canned technically. But uh, my mom likes them de la olla. Um, I don't know. How do you usually have your beans? Fried or así de la olla? Uh, de la olla. De la olla. I think I like those. Yeah. 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 Normally, así como allá en México, cuando, cuando vamos allá en México. Um, Uy. Cuando voy a México. I love going to Mexico a las, what is it, senaduras? Senaduras. Senadura, look at that, look at that. See, ah. that's what I call a volcano. <laughs> um, and I love going because I got on mis taquitos con mi morisqueta. Ooh, that's like the reason I go to Mexico for, main reason, para la morisqueta. So I think it's amazing. So we have our, our finished uh, product here, finished dish. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, it's all up to your it's own, really good, how much you want to add. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me go get a, I want to try it now. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let me go get a, a fork, spoon, um, however it's easier for you. And you know, this is up to you. Uh, do you want to add more chile, add more chile. Um, if you see that it's a little too, like a thick consistency, you can add more water to your, a little bit of water to your uh, morisqueta so you make it more, make more of it. For if you have more guests, then you, you can make another batch they can get at least chilito con su arroz. <laughs> so, Moe, if you wanna try it, go ahead. Bring me my water. <laughs> it's, not good. it's not that spicy. Hmm. How is it? Que le falta, señorito? Is it very spicy? <laughs> falta una, no, 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 una no, coca, bien <laughs> fría. <laughs> this is really good. It has, it has that flavor, you know, like, again, I think, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's not but, that uh, spicy. I don't need a lot of spicy, but this is a good spicy. You know, okay. like, like it's really good. So enjoy your house. <laughs> Bring me the water. <laughs> now this water. is really good. So very good, Eddie. Thank very, you. Good, thank very you. good. Um, and well, with just that being said, um, once again, thank you, Moy, for for uh, taking your time to you know no, uh, you. share a little message to our youth, to share a message to anyone who's watching it. Uh, so thank you very much for that. I know uh, you have many things to do, and uh, really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, muchas gracias por todo. I mean, you're a really good friend, uh, good friend to me, and I really appreciate that. Um, no sé si quieras decirle algo para terminar. Yeah, I mean, um, um, I just wanna say thank you, you mm -hmm. know, for giving me the opportunity and. And thank you for the hard work that you do for the group, that you do thank for the you. channel. You sacrifice a lot. So uh, yes. all the people over there, please pray for our ministry, Duke and Altum. Uh, we pray for you guys. We keep you guys in our prayers. But pray for these young people, you know, uh, that is giving their lives to Jesus Christ. And um, they're here every every Tuesday, every uh, uh, you know, giving classes, giving retreats, giving this. So it's a lot of time. Plus, they have their uh, job, uh, university, at school, homework, a lot of stuff, you know, and and they're and they're get, they're doing this uh, for you. So uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and share with everyone. <laughs> Cling, you know. But uh, uh, really quick, just to finish, uh, my advice to you, especially to the teens and young people right there, uh, know that that you're special. Know that that God is in control. Que sepas que Dios te ama y que y que todo lo que pasa and everything that happened is just for a reason. And you gotta believe in God. Tienes que Amen. creerle a Dios en lo que pase. And don't give up. And uh, if you're planning to like, uh, okay, how, how should I start? I wanna start growing in my faith. Go, go look for your or local parish. I'm sure they have groups. Um, I'm sure that there is a lot of Bible classes right mm -hmm. now by Zoom. So it's e even better, you know, you, in, your, in your house. Uh, but there is a lot of stuff that you can do. Just go for it, go get it. It's, it's our responsibility to go in and, and look for that stuff. Que está ahí, ya, no? Entonces, este, if you're from Southgate or you want to join us in our Zoom classes, I mean, we have those classes every Tuesday, Fridays. Uh, um, just send us a, a message and yeah. we'll give you that information. Definitely. But thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you to, 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 the, to, the, to the person behind the camera. Thank you, Wero. Thank you, <laughs> thank you everyone, you know, for making this possible. Thank you, guys, and we're praying for you. Amen.
thank you um, as well for just everything. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, anything regarding any of these things, or if you want to, if you want to be and join me in the cooking, let me know as well. We can work something, arrange something. We can make it happen. Uh, just thank you in general. Um, uh, the path of God is not easy, but I think it's totally worth it. it uh, so just thank you guys for all your support. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next one.